Hey guys, Charlotte here from Damson and welcome back to another Tech Tip Thursday. This week we're going to be looking at Google Keep and how you can use it as a digital sticky note solution. You can use this within Google Workspace um, as a really, really helpful little note taking solution and this will be just a basic overview of the kind of features that you can use within Google Keep. So if you want to know more, you know what to do. Stay tuned. Okay, so here we are in Google Keep. I just have my Google Keep open. Um, and as you can see, it kind of just looks a little bit like sticky notes. Um, so you can see we have different colors here. I've got my marketing in pink um, and I've got this reading that I have just note taking on a book called Lean Analytics pinned up the top. Now you can pin a note by clicking on this little icon here um, and that obviously just keeps it at the top. Um, but I'm just going to show you how to take a note really quickly and all the different things that we can do here. Okay, so we're just going to take a new note here. So I'm just going to say test and test. So you have obviously a load of options down here at the bottom. As I said before, you can pin the note, um, but you can also uh, do a couple of things here. And I'm not going to go through everything, but I'm just going to go through kind of the most important things. So I'm going to add a label. Um, these are the labels that I have already made. You can add a label over here on the left hand side in edit labels um, and I'm going to click marketing. Um, now most of my marketing notes are pink so you can change the color right here. I'm going to change it to pink. Um, and now I have a note and basically like if I want to take uh, more notes I can add tick boxes on here so I'm just going to show tick boxes and then I'm going to add list items here. And then once you've done that, you can click them all off or tick them all off as you've done them. So it's a really, really handy way to just sort of have a list of items that you need to, to get done and do a sort of tick box list and check everything off as you go. So I'm just going to close this now. And as you can see, it's just gone to the bottom here below the pinned ones. Um, and what I can do, as long as I have labeled a note, I can just hover my mouse over it and click E. There we go. Work this time. And then I can just go to my marketing label and you can see that it is in here. Um, and along with all the other uh, notes that I have marked marketing. So this is really handy for keeping everything completely organized and not having this sort of mess of notes in here that you know just gets totally all over the place. So archiving is actually a really great way to find them because they're always still there. They're just in the archive in your labels. Another fun thing that you can do here uh, that makes them look really pretty and really nice is you can add images. So I'm just going to go to the last image that I had, which was the thumbnail for our last video. And now that's added onto the top there. Um, so you can see like that makes the note look really pretty and easy to find. So this is also a really, really good way to sort of keep things organized and in and track them basically. Um, but the really the thing that I kind of most wanted to show today is this this really great feature that you can use across pretty much all of the Google Workspace tools here. Um, so if I am in Google Slides, you can see that I have a little um, sort of uh, dashboard here on the right hand side. And I've got things like calendar and tasks and all the kind of stuff. But I also have Google Keep. And if I just take a note here on this and I say test slide, test, you can see that it has taken a note on this, but not only that, it is also linked to this slide deck on the note. So if I press done there, I can go back into my Google Keep and look at that. There is a note on that slide deck in there. Um, and you can also do this in Google Docs. You can see I can take a note there and the document is linked. You can see in Google Sheets the exact same thing. I can take a note and the sheet is linked and even in Gmail I can take a note on whatever email it is that I am using and it will take a note. And this is so handy for when you're working on something and you just want to take a side note on it or you want to make a list of tasks or anything like that to do with the thing that you are working on. 
Okay guys, well that was our super quick update for Tech Tip Thursday. I hope you guys enjoyed it and that you learned something new. If you did, please leave a comment um, and also leave comments talking about anything that you wanna discuss, any more videos that you'd like to see from us. We'd love to hear from you. Um, if you're not already subscribed, please do subscribe. And you can also follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter as well. And as always, thanks for watching and I will see you guys next week.